Hello everyone. I am uh, not going to lie. One of my favorite cities in America is Portland, Oregon. I I just love it. I, I feel at home here, and I've lived here now off and on for seven years. I just uh, it's home to me. I'm glad to say you've, uh, when you finally found, found your city that you love, and you can call it home. I fell in love with the city in like 2015, 2014. Lived here for three years, and then went back to Toledo, Ohio for three years, and that was magical there. But something about Portland has always called me, and I came back to it. Is it the bridges? Is it the people, the food, the, the weather? Is it living in a terranium? I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so here's another tour of Portland. I hope you enjoy it. Coming right up. That's the St. John's Bridge. I've never seen it. I've never seen that bridge in all my time here. So, yeah, we're at the downtown Chinatown in Portland. And um, yeah, I just got back from um, going inside. I didn't feel like going. I didn't feel like going down across the river to uh, Floyd's or I just basically did not want to take a bus. So walking back home. Chinatown. I don't want to make a bad prediction or put any bad mojo on Portland, but, you know, Portland has this reputation of being a, such a liberal city, and it is, down the shadow of a doubt, while the one hung, one hung far low is not showing up on video. But, um... There's so many police officers and a police high police presence in Portland that if they kind of see the sign. If anything were to pop off down here, I I pity the the fools who, who would try something. I really do. Because we are prepared. There's a big police presence down here. Not only poli when I say police, I mean, or when I say cops, I mean, you know, the people in yellow. Uh, we have bicycle presence. We have police officers, not only on bicycles and horses, but on three wheel motorized tricycles. This is a cool shop, this uh, leather place, local place. You know, look at it, it's really... Um, really nice inside. I, uh... My father lives in Phoenix, and he graciously said to me, uh, make a list of things you want for Christmas, and, 
than that. So I, I'm really practical. This is a great Mexican place. See the people in the bar? It's a great place. For breakfast. Or... There's a train, train coming. Good. Stop for the train. And look at me in in Portland wearing of course sandals. That's all I wear. I am such a hardcore motherfucker. I wear sandals up till Christmas. This is a cool store. Little souvenir shop. So, 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 <clears throat> we're walking on the back of uh, well, Rosalind Theater. On the skylight. But anyway, here's uh, the Star Theater in the Roseland. Star Theater. So I'm just walking back home. in the corner. It's pretty bad around here. I'm not going to lie. Being homeless is not a crime, you know? This is a good sushi, but it's it's in the round. It's still up. Oh, it says closed, but it's um a carousel. There's several in Portland. There's three that I know of. And I happen to live below this one. It's a carousel. Like, blue plate is one ninety nine, Red plate is two ninety nine, Yellow plate is five ninety nine. They've been doing a lot of uh, construction here. They're... I live exactly above this improv theater here. It's a cool theater. I've been in a few times, and look, they've got a show going on now. Can't see, but... Um, anyway, usually it's jumping out here. It would be a lot of people drinking and playing accordions, and there's crazy Eric, dude who uh, walks around... I thank you. I think I will. I never take the elevator. I always take the stairs. It's a long life and my longevity. Take the stairs while you can. Well, hello. 